The following is a presentation of Muddy River News. Your financial needs aren't independent of each other, so your financial advisors shouldn't be either. At Mercantile Bank, our experienced United Wealth professionals are united to serve you and your complete financial planning and wealth management needs. Are you just starting your investment journey or need to roll over a retirement plan? Do you need to plan for a loved one with special needs or for your own life after work? Maybe your business needs a succession plan or you want to enhance your employee benefit programs. Whatever steps you need to take, our United Wealth experts are ready to take them with you. Together, we are united. Hi, this is Ron Kincher. This is the Business Spotlight brought to you by Mercantile Bank. And we're talking with Bridget Northern. She is the marketing director with Adam Spiber. How long have you been there now? I am. Um, I've been there since 20, 2009. Okay, so quite a while. Quite a while. And you've got to see this company grow, obviously, quite a bit. And a lot of expansion. You guys uh, obviously have fiber throughout the area. Are you complete with what you set out to do as far as providing fiber to the communities that you serve? Um, well, we've we've actually um, kind of finished up our Quincy in city limits, but we're always um, adding people as, um, you know, they express interest. Right. Um, we're still evaluating different grant opportunities that come available, so serving more of the rural um, communities as we can. But as you know, um, laying fiber is not something that's cheap, so we have to make um, some business decisions right. to see what's feasible for us to to expand and are you still up. doing the neighborhood type thing like if enough people sign up in a specific neighborhood then you'll roll in um we've kind of changed that since we've built out a lot of the in-town communities mm -hmm. so more of it's um kind of picking and um, choosing different um, areas by the interest that's come in through our okay. website and then looking to see you know what we could do to maybe build those areas out um utilizing some grant funding programs okay so how far out are you guys now as far as the county and adjoining counties um we serve the majority of adams county brown county part portions of brown county hancock county wow um, a little bit of schuyler county because okay. we do have a co-op that we um we have 13 exchanges that kind of go into some of those other counties a little bit down in pike county so okay. do you have any idea the how much fiber you've laid, like the number of feet or miles or anything like that? Oh, I knew you would ask me that. No, um, I'm just curious. I don't have it off the top of my head, but I could, I could. No, that's fine. I was lot. just curious. I, I was going to say, lot. because uh, it, it just, you drive through neighborhoods and I know you're beyond a lot of that now, but it's, uh, it's just remarkable that the amount of trucks you see that are laying fiber for you guys. Yeah. Are yeah. you, are you still rolling it out to various businesses and in the area yeah so we do still connect businesses uh, mostly you know in this quincy market but mm -hmm. we do have services that um, we can serve and connect locations for some some larger and just industry type services like okay. banks and things right. that um that we can provide dark fiber services to this is going to be a stupid question but is it possible to run out of internet for you guys to provide or are you constantly upgrading the amount that you're providing as in, like, run out of you, bandwidth or run yeah, out of Yeah, you have to have so much coming in to serve everybody you have. So I'm assuming you have to continue to increase that bandwidth at yeah, the headquarters, so, so to speak. I'm not the technical person I understand on that. the back end. But, yeah, so our we have a whole group of people that are responsible for making sure that our network is robust and that we don't run into issues. So that's never been something that we've worried about. I mean, I right. haven't worried about, but they, they take a good, okay. good care of that. And you have announced a new offering for the tri-state area revolving gaming. Yeah, so we um, are, are launched uh, a fiber gaming network, um, which is basically an esports and gaming um, platform that okay. allows um, our customers or customer or residents, I should say, in our service territories to um, take advantage of um, gaming um, and utilizing their broadband service to participate in that type of um, entertainment. So how does it work basically? Um, so subscribers can go out and um, sign up for a free account right now on FiberGamingNetwork.com um, and have access to all of our events that we have. We have weekend tournaments, um, we have weekly game nights, um, community build nights, trivia nights. Um, so basically just going out, filling out some information, choosing Adams Fiber as the um, company that's mm -hmm. um, providing the access. And then from there you can sign up to participate in events. So is it only events or or can I sign up, and I don't know if you have these games or not, can I sign up and just play Madden, for example? Or do I have to own Madden in order to do that? Um, yes, you have to own the game okay. to be able to play. So that's the one caveat that if you, okay. if you own the game, then you're you're able to play um, in the tournament or the game or the, the community build night. So you're basically providing a platform for, their, for them to communicate with other users of the product? For other users, yep. And that's not just users from... 
um, our, our area, it's users all over the nation that are participating in this fiber gaming network um, kind of family. Mm -hmm. So this isn't something you invented, the fiber gaming network? This is, this is not, a national or international type platform? This is not something platform? that Adams invented. We are one of 30 um, broadband service providers that participated in this uh, pilot launch of this program. So a marketing agency that um, has a tie to some broadband service providers mm -hmm. like Adams actually created that. So um, that's how we got involved with it. Um, it eventually, or it originally launched in early May. Okay. Um, and so... We've slowly rolled this out to our c customers um, and promoted it, but we're seeing um, a lot more growth over the last couple months. Um, right now, I believe we have 61 gamers that have signed okay. up over the last couple months, um, and that's continuing to grow. But among all the 30 um, broadband service providers that do participate in the program, there's over 1,000 um, gamers okay. that have subscribed to the service. And it uh, it's not just Fortnite or Madden. It, there's a bunch of games that you're offering through the service, sure, there's right? A, there's a lot of games, and, and you can go on there. We've got a calendar up um, with all of the events that are scheduled for um, the weeknight game builds, mm -hmm. the tournaments, the casual gaming nights, um, all through the next several months. Okay. Um, and is there a cost to this? Right now, there's no cost. Okay. We're offering this free for anybody that wants to sign up um, and participate, mm -hmm. and you know, we're giving away a lot of um, chances to win cash, um, up to $1,500 in tournaments really? on the weekend. And then, um, you know, merchandise and game systems and, and cool things like that. So, okay, so uh, uh, the users, will they need a specific amount of bandwidth in order to compete or play these games? Well, that's the advantage um, of having a fiber connection. Um, obviously, you want um, a strong enough bandwidth that you can um, have the the best of the best when you're playing against somebody, mm -hmm. especially online. Um, I know low latency is a big thing that gamers look at, so you want to be able to um, kind of have a, a hand up, I guess, on some of those people. So the higher the bandwidth the package, um, the better your experience is with some of, the, some of these online games. So I'm Adam's customer, and I've got a gig coming in. Um, so I would use the gaming network over my current connection, is what I'm guessing, sure. right? Yep. Okay, then I'm guessing you can bring in a separate connection just like if I use it for work and my kids want a game, or, or I guess you could share the same connection? Yeah, you could You could do either. Okay. You could have two connections or you could have one. Um, we also have a product that, you know, will let you pri prioritize some of your network traffic. Okay. So right. um, if you're a big gamer and you have a tournament that you're playing in and you've got some kids that maybe want to watch a movie or are doing some other things, you can kind of prioritize your your traffic on your network. And it doesn't have to be, you don't have to be an Adams customer to take advantage of this. Correct. You just have to live in a service area that we serve. So okay. that's all based on zip code. So if it's a zip code that we serve, then that's included and you'll be able to sign up for free. A lot of people use their gaming systems for this type of thing. Is yep, that, you can use a gaming you system. You can do um, your PC gaming. So there's a lot of um, different options. So, um, you know, Xbox, um, PlayStation, um, what's the little handheld Nintendo Switch? Those mm -hmm. are all um, things. All supported. Yep. Okay. And, um, Watching these events is a big thing too. I understand. I don't deal you know, on YouTube and all that type of stuff. So is that a possibility with this yeah. setup? Yeah. So you can. Um, you don't have to play in the tournaments. Um, you can get on there and watch the games and see how you um, might be interested in and watch people that you know that game. I know that's a big thing. My kids game, and I think how could you sit in front of the TV and watch people game and play this for hours? But that's right. a thing. Um, but I think a lot of people do that because they learn different tips and tricks about the game and maybe. Um, learn some things when they actually play. So where do you see this going for Adams? I mean, obviously you, you've added this as a growth portion to the organization, but I mean, what's the ultimate goal by having this? Yeah, we saw a need that, um, you know, we wanted to reach out to our gaming community. We see that there's a big need for that. We see um, a lot of gaming traffic on our network. So okay. um, there are a lot more gamers out there than we think. Um, and we also want to be able to um, offer some or partner with some local colleges and universities for the e-gaming, um, mm -hmm. you know, programs that are starting to develop and really kind of take off and potentially, um, you know, come out with some uh, scholarship opportunities for, for the e-gaming world. You just took my next question. I was getting, you know, obviously it's becoming a scholarship sport. Sure. And you are going to partner with colleges with that, so. Yeah, we're, we're actually working with the Fiber Gaming Network, and they're taking the lead on that, and they're actually working with with a college out in South Carolina right now that's, I guess, ranked number two in one of the um, 
League of uh, Legends and the Valorant game. So they're starting with that, but they're, they are actually um, working towards helping us connect with all of our local um, colleges and universities. Thanks for joining us for the Business Spotlight brought to you by Mercantile Bank. I'm Ron Kincher from Muddy River News, Bridget Northern, our guest from Adams Fiber. Your financial needs aren't independent of each other, so your financial advisors shouldn't be either. At Mercantile Bank, our experienced United Wealth professionals are united to serve you and your complete financial planning and wealth management needs. Are you just starting your investment journey or need to roll over a retirement plan? Do you need to plan for a loved one with special needs or for your own life after work? Maybe your business needs a succession plan or you want to enhance your employee benefit programs. Whatever steps you need to take, our United Wealth experts are ready to take them with you. Together, we are united. Muddy River News, our home, our news.